Hello and welcome. I am out at my compost pile in our 520 square foot greenhouse. I just pulled it apart because I'm going to be doing some modifying to this system. I've got some extra materials that I found at a local discount store, a store that buys out stores that close. So I found a whole bunch of free material and stuff to get me extra heat in this greenhouse without adding a whole lot of money into it or plugging in any electricity. So you can see our little solar fan is running. We have some metal ducting. We have a little bit of culvert and we've got a little bit of pond liner to wrap around some of our metal tubing in order to draw more heat to it so we don't have to spray paint it black so we don't have to have that spray paint flake off and leach chemicals into our greenhouse floor so i've got several of these four by 24 inch 30 gauge basically these are just vent tubes and they're able to be crimped and pinched together so we'll be able to lock them together and i think i'll be able to secure them on the inside and then cinch them together on our back wall and i'm going to get a system together and i'll bring you guys back after i throw this together and i'll explain what i'm doing so here it is this is what i had in mind this is kind of what i brainstormed i have my fan drawing from the top all the way through the bottom and i'm going to show this i'm going to show the airflow i just wanted to show the whole system as a whole and i wanted to talk about a few things before I show everything I did. As you can see, our water's just bilging a little bit here and there because we have heavy, heavy fog and some ice forming from that fog and thick clouds above that. But our little five watt fan is running very well. Our 10 watt fan is sporadically running. So I like the five watt fans because they really pick up that energy on a day with no solar activity. So we paired these two systems together, kind of like in our small greenhouse, just in a little bit different way and on a bigger scale. One more quick thing before I show the breakdown of this build here. I've had a ton of interest in this subject and I've had a lot of very informed subscribers commenting and suggesting ideas and a lot of ideas go towards the harvesting of the methane that I have not been harvesting. It's a wasted resource, yes. I just haven't built any type of system yet to capture our methane. I've been brainstorming it and I want to get some type of idea to where I can just move my system to my pile because I have so many compost piles all the time and really large ones at that. I want to be able to throw some type of tarp and harvest from the top of my tarp. There's just a lot of brainstorming involved and that will be a later subject that I'm going to cover. But right now I am running with these two solar systems in order to heat this greenhouse. So let me break this down. I want to show everybody what I'm doing. So just standing back looking at the system, this whole metal pipe is going to be covered in strips of this pond liner in order to create better heat and soak more heat into that system as opposed to reflecting it. Because that is such a shiny reflective surface, we want to be able to soak the heat in. When this was put together, it just snaps. So I was able to drill right to the center of this and attach it to our little wall here. And then I put the next piece in, just a small piece of duct tape. This fit right in nice and tight, pretty well airtight. We've got our little elbow and our metal running through the actual compost itself. That metal will transfer heat way better than our plastic ever will. So we've got a basically a four inch exhaust tube transferring air from the top of our greenhouse down through the floor, compost back out into the airspace at the wall to kind of dry up this humidity we got going on in here. So let me grab my incense and I will show what kind of airflow this is actually putting out on a very, very cloudy and foggy day. All right, I'll show up here. We are getting some serious draw right down into that fan. Let's come on down to the front side and show what kind of airflow it's getting. That is ripping that. If you can see how well that's actually blowing the air, but that is decent. I can feel the air blowing way back here. I threw my compost glove back on. I just wanted to show kind of how we're gonna compile this back together. This pile was halfway warm. It was sitting about 90, 95 degrees. Try not to get it in our water here. So that is basically how it's gonna run. We will curl our tarp around it, let that exhaust out without transferring a whole lot of the gases that are coming off the compost. We're keeping that tucked inside our tarp and just putting the heat off instead of just leaving this pile open to radiate all those gases up. We're trapping them in and it still radiates heat through the tarp. It just keeps everything nice and tight. So our little system here seems to be working well already. We're getting good airflow. It's nice and tight. 
We got hot compost to run it through. I'm very interested to see how well this works in the long run here because that little fan should run as long as our other one, which is running for over two years now. So we should be able to use this system this entire winter. As long as we have enough materials to compost and just basically biogest in this little corner all winter, underneath this tarp with all these systems running we should be in pretty good shape i just want to thank everybody for watching and if anybody has any questions on what i have going on with this little system here i just wanted to show the setup and kind of show a different alternative if somebody didn't want to do the actual water flow through it didn't want to have that whole system running you could basically just set this air to air heat transfer system up and pump hot air out of your compost pile with a little solar fan and very little input so i'm going to get this pile back together and maybe add a little bit more material and basically seal it up and let it run on its own for the next couple weeks here and see how well it works